Hey, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel, Riddle here. I'm going to show you how to make a keto salad that is an actual meal. Now I'm going to go a little higher on the carbs, only because I'm losing a little too much weight and that wasn't my goal with the diet. So you can alter this any direction you want to go, but I eat this salad almost on a daily basis and it really does the body good. This is actually my first meal of the day. So first you start with your lettuce, spinach, any type of greens that please you. Uh, I have an amazing organic garden and I like to pick it and eat it right away so I have all the benefits of eating living food. I'm putting some bok choy in here, butternut, beautiful scarlet. You'll please excuse my, my video because I have one hand and I don't have someone helping me today, so you're going to do a giant bowl of greens. And the thing about eating a salad, and this drives my spouse crazy, they say too much chewing. <laughs> They're Chinese. That's good because there's actually a mechanism in the brain that allows, that's supposed to uh, alert you when you've chewed so many times and, and release chemicals and hormones that slow your hunger. So the cool thing about eating things that are chewy, like a salad, that aren't super high calorie, is that you get your brain gets the satiation of all that chewing without uh, tons of actual caloric eating. All right. So I always say with salad, more is more. Breaking it into smaller pieces here. Look at these beautiful greens so lucky well i'm not lucky bullshit i did a lot of hard work to create this <laughs> i hate when people say i'm so blessed well you know when i get to the other side god is going to thank me for giving him a lifetime off because i have to be honest with you i've never prayed before i guess i'm saving that for something much bigger because i think that there's it's a lot more empowering to do okay I'm going to stop here. Our bowl is pretty full with all of our awesome greens. Next, it's important with your keto diet to get the proper fat. So I'm going to add a tablespoon or so of avocado oil. They sell this at Costco. It's a pretty good deal. 100% pure, cold pressed. I'm going to add a tablespoon or so of organic cold pressed olive oil. Mix that up a little bit so we're getting our fats in there, right? Then we're going to add a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette. Now you have a choice. You can do the balsamic vinaigrette, but if you're really avoiding the carbs and any kind of sugar, or if vinegar is not your thing, you can squeeze a half a lemon on it. Or both. I like to do both because there's my balsamic which is great. This also is an organic balsamic. Then I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice on it, only because lemon has really great detoxing properties and all the vitamins, and it just brings out all the flavor of the vegetables. So that's our dressing. Now we get to have some fun and turn it into a meal. So what we're going to do is add our protein. So I'm going to smash up a hard-boiled egg. Now usually I cut this, but I'm going all animal on this stuff. Maybe I'll do two hard-boiled eggs because I'm really hungry and like I said, I don't want to get any any thinner. That wasn't my goal with my keto diet. It was to manage my chronic fatigue. Next, I'm going to add some prosciutto. You can add bacon, you can add salami, you can add smoked salmon. It's really anything you want. We're just getting the fat and the protein content up. And then, this is really great, especially for men, papitas. These are sprouted ones. They sell them at Costco, but I got them cheaper at a place called Grocery Outlet. And they are full of nutrition, especially zinc, and that's why they're great for men's health. I'm going to sprinkle a uh, 
handful or so in there, which also gives a really great texture to it. And then, and again, you don't have to add all of this stuff, but the title of the video is Making a Salad a Meal. This is guacamole that I made. Again, the avocados are part of the high-fat diet. So I'm going to throw a couple tablespoons of guacamole in there. Isn't it sad how expensive avocados are? You know they're endangered. Enjoy them while you can, along with coffee. Womp womp. And then one more thing. Cheese. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Goat's cheese. Cheese, glorious cheese. This really, the creaminess of this. Mm -hmm. I got this for two fifty. dollars this beautiful shiv. And it has some herbs infused in it, which really sets it off. And that, my friends, is a meal of a salad with enough calories to really carry you through. Now, my friend, I've been exercising really aggressively, and I find that I like the, my old man fat is completely disappeared and I'm getting muscular, but still a little too thin. So I'm doing this high calorie stuff because I'm an athlete. My friend tends to not work out so aggressively. And the sad thing is his arms and legs are getting really skinny, but he still has the funny, the funny shape to his midsection. So if you go on the keto diet, don't necessarily think that just the diet is going to change the shape of your body. You do have to work with it. And if your goal is to you know, to reclaim a more youthful physique that's more muscular, you have to implement an aerobic or some type of weight, um, you know, weight lifting regimen in with it. All right, my friends, that is one hell of a salad. These can be replaced with sunflower, sunflower seeds if you're on the cheap. Many of these things can be replaced with whatever you can find. You just really want the highest quality and the most organic materials because you know, what you put in your body is what you are. If you like my channel and you want to see more keto recipes, healthy eating ideas, how to grow food, and on and on and on, please subscribe. It helps. And take care of yourselves. And most of all, take care of each other because it's how we treat each other on the streets that really creates our reality. Bye for now.